cooking with the pizzas. is Queenie and you're watching cooking with the pizzas today we're going to be making a Panamanian dish It's called Johnny Massetti okay and my aunt Mattia she told me exactly how they used to eat this dish when they used to go to house parties and stuff back in the day in Panama okay so let's get into the ingredients we got two pounds of ground beef we have two bell peppers chopped up we have a large onion chopped up we have five cloves of garlic that's been minced. We have two stalks of celery. We have some cheese. We have an eight ounce can of tomato paste. We have a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. We have a can of peas and carrots, and we have a three ounce bottle of olives, and we have our elbow macaroni. Right now, I'm gonna say we're gonna use one box, one pound box, and maybe 25% of the other box, okay? But for right now, we're going to just go ahead with those ingredients. As far as the water goes, we're not going to, I'm not going to tell you about the water right now. Okay. I'm going to wait until we start the cooking process. All right. Let's get to cooking with the pizzas and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, guys. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make our pasta. Okay. We're going to go ahead and boil the pasta first. All right, guys. So now what we're doing is we're just going to cook our ground beef. Okay, we're gonna cook our ground beef for our sauce. We'll get this cooking up here. And I also wanna let you know that we're gonna be also using a teaspoon of oregano, all right? And about two to three tablespoons of onion powder all right or any type of seasoning that you want to season your meat with you know you that's why i didn't even really say that as far as the seasoning go because other people like different seasonings okay so whatever you want to season your meat with i would suggest a little onion powder to season it all right so we're gonna just cook this meat, okay? We're gonna get this meat ready and the noodles are on the side, okay? The macaroni is on the side. All right, it's already done and it's on the side. All right, so we're just gonna continue to cook this meat until it's done. All right, guys, so what we're doing now is we saute our peppers. Okay, and we're gonna actually add the celery in with it. Okay, so we're gonna saute this for a few minutes so we can get it soft. All right, we want to get it nice and soft. And you know what I decided to do? I decided that we're gonna add two bay leaves to the party or the fiesta. We're gonna add two bay leaves. I told you guys I could change up. As long as I go ahead and I add that into the description box, you will be a-okay. All right, I think that's for a little bit more flavor in our sauce. We want our sauce to be very flavorful. I think that oregano and those two bay leaves is going to set it off, okay? Alright, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our onion. So we're going to get this onion sauteed up. Y'all know I hate that sound. <laughs> so we're going to saute this up now. Okay? So we can make a nice, nice sauce. All right. Okay. 
So I'll tell you this up. And the description is always, always, the description box always has the ingredients, okay? They always have, I always put the ingredients in the description box, okay? So we're going to let this saute. Let it cook. Saute. We want it to get nice and soft. Alright. I know it looks like a lot of onions, but everybody knows onion adds flavor. So we want onions. Okay? We want these onions in here to add flavor to our dish. Alright, so we're just going to let this saute down. Alright guys, it's been sauteing. Four minutes. Let's see what while I'm keeping an eye on it. So now we're gonna add our garlic. All right, our five cloves of garlic, okay? We add our garlic into the pot, okay? And you know we don't wanna burn the garlic, okay? We don't want to burn our garlic. So now, it's time to start building. So now we're gonna add our 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, okay? Now, my tia told me, hey, make sure that you have a nice thick sauce, okay? So you don't want a thin sauce. All right? You don't want a thin sauce. Now we're gonna add our oregano. All right, that's two. Well, I added actually one, okay? So that is going to be one tablespoon of oregano. If you like, you could add two though. All right, two would be nice. Okay, so I told you. Things change around here. So I feel like, hey, I wanna add another one. Another tablespoon of oregano. Okay? I'm telling you, I'm trying to get y'all the most flavorful sauce. All right? We ain't add no water yet. All right, so we're gonna let that cook for a second. Now I'm gonna add two cups of water, all right? I add two cups of water and the tomato paste. Okay, remember that eight ounce can of tomato paste? Okay, I added that to the mix. And the reason why I added that is because, again, we don't want the sauce to be too soupy and too thin. So we add the tomato paste so that we can thicken up our sauce. All right? We want to thicken our sauce up with the tomato paste. All right, that's what the tomato paste is going to do. It's going to thicken up our sauce. Okay. All right, guys. So I was just wiping up a little bit. You don't want it to get too messy. All right. So you see how our sauce got that nice, thick consistency. I mean, you know, it's going to bubble up. So you're going to expect it to bubble up. So. That's fine. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. I told you that things change. Things be changing around here. So we're going to add our two tablespoons of onion powder. Okay. Add our two tablespoons of onion powder. Look at that sauce. That's a nice consistency. All right. That's exactly how you would like to have your sauce looking. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our olives, our three ounce can of olives. We're going to go ahead and add that. Oh yeah, this is bubbling up. <laughs> it always does that, but it's okay. It's okay. You can always wipe that up. It's not a problem. All right, now we want this to simmer. Let me just wipe up the stove because this stuff is splashing all over. 
and I don't want it to look too, too crazy. All right, so now we're gonna put this on simmer. All right, we turn the stove down on simmer, okay? And we are going to simmer this sauce. All right, we simmer in our sauce. That's how we want it to go. And we're gonna add our two bay leaves in the party or the fiesta. Okay? And we're gonna let this simmer down. All right, we're gonna let this simmer down real nice. Now, you know, I don't like peas and carrots like that. You know, but Matias said, have to add it. So we're gonna add it in the end so that this is not going to be, you know, it's not gonna be mushy. All right, guys, so we added our tomato sauce, one can of tomato sauce. We added one eight ounce can of tomato paste to thicken the sauce up with two cups of water. All right, so we're gonna let this simmer down with all our ingredients. We're gonna let this simmer down for about 20 minutes, okay? And then our sauce will be done. All right cooking with the pizzas. Guys, I suggest that when you simmer it, cover it up, okay? Because if not, it's just gonna be all over the stove and you're just gonna have to keep wiping, 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 wiping. So with the simmering process for the 20 minutes, just cover it down, okay? And then simmer it. All right, guys, our homemade sauce is done. All right, I added the peas and carrots like two minutes before it was supposed to end. Okay, add that can. All right, our sauce is done. So now we're gonna build this, okay? All right, so we added our cup of cheese. Okay, and we're just gonna mix it in. All right, we're just gonna mix our cup of cheese in, all right? With our noodles and our ground beef. We're gonna mix it in, okay? We're gonna mix that in like that, okay? Now, I think we can use a little bit more cheese. Matthew I said don't make it too cheesy, but I want a little bit more cheese. So let's do another, let's go a half a cup. All right, so that's gonna be a cup and a half of cheese. All right? We're gonna mix this cheese in like this. And now we're gonna add the sauce. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add the sauce to this pot. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the sauce. Alright. Alright, guys, so our Johnny Mastetti is done. Alright, let's take a closer look. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. Cooking without pizzas. And don't forget to like and subscribe. The Johnny Mastetti pasta is done. Let's take a closer look. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. Cooking with the pizzas, and don't forget to like and subscribe.